Hello everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel and if this is your first time, hi, I am Natalie and I hope that you'll subscribe and stay a while. We are back at the infamous mall that I've done a bunch of try-ons at. I, I am so lucky to live near a mall that has a bunch of options for plus size, whether that be dedicated stores like Torrid or Lane Bryant or stores that have plus size sections like Target, Forever 21, you get it. I put a question up on my community tab the other day asking, hey, it's been a few months and I want to go shopping at Torrid. Would y'all want to see another in the fitting room of Torrid? And overwhelmingly, people were like, heck yeah. Remember back to my last Torrid video, I had a few things to say. <laughs> There are a lot of comments on that video. There are hundreds of comments and I'm really, really appreciative of other people's points of view. Something that I realized, and this is something I acknowledged when I made the video, is that, you know, being a, a mid, a mid-size plus size person, so I don't necessarily, I don't size out of Torrid. Um, there are other options for me. You know, I may have the funds even if it's not all the time to shop somewhere that's not Torrid, things like that. There are a lot of people, when it comes down to it, no matter how I feel about some of the politics about price and such that Torrid has, Torrid is the option for a lot of people. A lot of plus size people, people are like, that's the only place I, you know, I find clothes that I like, that fit, that I feel comfortable in. And whenever I had an issue with the price, lots of people were like, hey, yeah, but, things like their coupons and their sales. Now, I still attest, and this goes for any retailer, that you shouldn't have to necessarily play the game of always waiting for a sale, always waiting for a coupon, or you know, a mix of the two or whatever. But there are, you know, I gotta think about other retailers like Bath & Body Works. I don't shop Bath & Body Works full price. I think I would get on to anybody that wanted to shop their full price because there are so many sales, so many coupons and things like that. If that's how people can afford it, that's how they can afford it. That's how I can afford it. I can't afford full price Torrid, especially very often. So it's been a, you know, we're into a new season. I visited whenever it was spring. So now we're in summer. I'm seeing lots of really cute um, stuff pop up online, different people that I follow on the internet, random photos, it looks like there's a lot of cute stuff. Now, granted, this is me shopping in the store versus me shopping online where I have my pick of whatever they have. So I can only hope that the inventory in the store is gonna have some things I wanna try on. I'm really hoping this tour had had some more swim. Whenever I came last time, they only had some that got sent by accident. It wasn't that they necessarily had lots of stock of swim in the store. I want to try on, obviously, dresses. I may even try on a couple more bras. Um, while I'm there, I may pick up some more underwear just because I, I like having new underwear. Un underwear is my favorite, um, especially from Torrid, you know, and that's something I mentioned in the video before too, is that Torrid, especially for intimates, is one of my favorite. No matter how much I may complain about the price, when it comes down to it, they're not the only option, but they're one of my favorite options. So. I want to sing another tune. I want to go give this another try. I want to have a great experience. And I even had so many people say last time, like everything you tried on was cute. Like I really liked that top or that dress. And the dress that I bought from Torrid, I, I kept it and I wear it often. It was an off the shoulder black uh, maxi dress. I wear it really often as well as, um, Hi. <laughs> as well as a long sleeve leopard print sweater. It's super soft and I wear it all the time, especially at home, because Jeff likes to keep it nice and cold in the apartment and I am pretty intolerant when it comes to cold. So I wear it a lot. That this is an option for most people. This is our, an option when it comes to availability. It's a name that they know. It's somewhere that a lot of plus size people have been shopping for a long time. It is one of the only, not only brick and mortar, but online stores that do go up to size 30, 32 that have the options, not as much as they should, you know, but they do. And so I wanna take that. I wanna have a fresh set of eyes when I go into Torrid. I want to have a great experience and maybe pick up some cute stuff. I don't need anything, but if I find something that I like, I'll pick it up, you know? Um, it's a beautiful night here in San Diego. It's about 7.30. I know they close at nine, so I wanna make sure to get in. First of all, we're not gonna talk about my nail polish. 
And now that I've said that, I know somebody's gonna talk about my nail polish. <laughs> and I do have a little bit of a sunburn. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful night. I'm gonna go um, hop into the store. We're gonna stop rambling. We're gonna try on some clothes. And by gosh darn it, we're gonna have a good time. I hope. <laughs> See you in there. Simple but super cute outfit. Sheer top is from Simply B. Jeans and a bag are from Eloquy. I love these jeans. They are the peach lift jeans. I'll link them down below. They fit beautifully and they make the butt look banging, as I'm gonna show you right here. And little slides from Target. Lots of cute things I wanted to try on. A little mini skirt, a bunch of dresses. I have a top, I have a sports bra, a couple swimsuits, which is really exciting, some little overalls, and a pair of jeans in which uh, the cut I had never tried before. So that was really exciting. And I am already sweating, of course. Trying on two pieces together, the purple top and the skinny jeans. These jeans are the sky high skinnies and I had never even heard of them before, much less tried them on. I was really impressed by this cut. I loved how they looked on the butt. It was really nice. The length was really good. I was totally sold. This top is a really pretty deep purple with a functioning, oh, Hello. A functioning zipper on the front, which is really cute and you can do with what you will. I liked the length nice and long in the front and the back, especially if you're somebody who likes longer tops. Something like this is really cute. I probably wouldn't pair this racer back bra with it again, but it was what I happened to be wearing. This was super cute. And you know, I kind of reflect back on the jeans here for a second. Besides the bombshell skinnies that I tried on last time, these are my favorite cut of jean that I've tried from Torrid. A lot of people like the jegging. The jegging are not my personal favorite, but I really liked these. Anything with the words sky high in it, I'm gonna love. Another type of clothing that I love from Torrid is their active wear. I'm trying on one of their sports bras and this material is more like a really soft cotton, almost like a t-shirt material, instead of like the more restrictive, um, kind of slippery material that a lot of sports bras are made out of. I loved it and it had a little bit of visual interest in the back, which I will show you in a second. Um, I think I'm gonna grab this during the hot cash sale. And here's another look at how high waist these skinny jeans are. Love them. Yeah, look at all that strappy detail in the back. It was super comfy. I loved it and I'm trying on a size three. I found this really beautiful olive colored maxi in the clearance section. I really hope I can find it online for y'all. It was just simple, easy, and super cute. Little bitty baby keyhole in the back. I loved the flouncing around the bust. I think it was really sexy. It has a little bit of a high low. It's a little bit higher in the front than the back with the flounce, and it has pockets. I love the kind of elasticized waist. It really brings in a beautiful shape. It and it was just really sexy. I love this. I love olive green on myself. It's one of my favorite colors. And this is another thing that I kind of regret not picking up tonight. It's really, really cute. Very, very comfy. When I saw this dress on the hanger, it checked all my boxes. It's black, it has see-through mesh material, the little like graphic polka dots on there. This was so cute. It had a lining underneath that was pretty interesting. It was like a cotton dress lining instead of the usual slip material. I think for the summer, this is gonna be a lot more breathable. Nice stretchy waist, very comfortable. I thought this was so sexy. This is something that you could absolutely dress up for like a summer wedding or it can be kind of dressed down just for every day, kind of like summer dates or something like that. Love it. Loved this shirt dress so much. So simple, but I think it's really versatile. 
very lightweight. I love the deep V. I love the length of the sleeve. I love that it has pockets. It's black with a little bit of a high low. This can be so many different things in your wardrobe. I ended up going for a size smaller. This is a size three, but there was lots of room. I'm so happy I purchased this. Y'all know I love me a black floral. This one had no pockets, which is okay. I'll let it slide this time. And it was this really beautiful light pink mixed with hot pink pops of floral. And it didn't so much match the red shoes, but that's okay. The straps at the top, the little cami straps, were adjustable. Um, if I was purchasing this, I would obviously tighten those up. This is a size three. It was plenty comfortable. This is something so beautiful for something like a summer wedding. And add this with a little like pink lip and some black strappy sandals and how fresh. If there was anything in this try on that may have been considered any sort of fail, it may have been this and only because I couldn't get the straps to tighten. Now I'm wearing a size 24. I could tell these weren't as stretchy as the jeans I tried on, which were a 22. I couldn't like, I've worn overalls a million times and I could not get these to tighten. So I'm looking a little dumpy here, but overall the idea of the overalls were super cute. I just wish I could freaking figure this out. Now this red mini skirt is not gonna be for everybody. I liked it in this size 22. It is tight on my belly, but it also makes my booty pop look at that i loved the way it fit it is very short it's a mini skirt i know y'all are awesome but you know if you would size up that's totally your prerogative if you like the way it looks on me right now rad but i am so excited to add this into my wardrobe i've never owned something like this this top is just what i came in i just wanted to have a top to try this on i'm so excited for all the different possibilities of outfits i can wear this with and even throughout the seasons i can add some tights it's gonna be so cute and have heavy rotation. I'll be super honest in saying that I don't often get one piece swimsuits from Torrid. I usually grab bikinis, but I saw this really pretty peachy pink and a palm leaf print swimsuit and had to try it on. This is in a size four and I feel like it fit great on the body, but was a little loose in the bust as you saw, but this was really comfortable. Unlike the swimsuits I tried on last time that were really difficult to get on, I feel like a size three would have worked totally fine in this. Loved the pattern. I think this would be so cute, like glammed up with some gold earrings, some little like, I don't know, fluffy, fluttery sandals. Like this is a whole look for like the pool or the beach. I really like this swimsuit and they had it in a bikini as well. Anything black and with stars is gonna be an automatic hit with me. This was another one piece as well and you'll notice it has this really pretty little mesh just ever so slight accent at the top. This was super comfy, also in a size four. I don't feel like this one was as loose in the bust as the previous one was, but I liked the way that this looked. I'm not, you know, bothered by the um, slight, you know, oversizedness in the bust at all. I feel like it was comfortable to get on and off. I didn't feel super restricted. And the fact like this could match with so many accessories, so many different like shoes that I have, be a whole mood at the pool like i i just i'm just having a dang good experience y'all look at her oh she's cute Alrighty, so I just got back to my car after my in the fitting room experience at Torrid for the second time. I have a lot to say and it's all good. <laughs> I'm so glad that so many of you wanted to see this again because I think I would have had like this notion about it if I had held on to my feelings about last time. It is my it is my want as a review channel, as a plus size lifestyle channel, plus size fashion, all of that kind of stuff to make sure that I'm giving y'all resources. Everything down to the staff this time 
was completely different than last time, especially Christine. And I apologize, I did not grab the name of the other um, associate that was working, but Christine was super attentive, made sure I had my room ready, everything was put up really nice, asking me if she could get me different sizes of things. She even found my coffee that I lost in the store. <laughs> I don't know how somebody loses a coffee, but I managed to do it. She didn't make me feel rushed. She didn't make me feel like anything. She made me feel welcome, and I really appreciate that. And then on the way out, I was standing at the counter, and she was like, I know this might be weird, but do you have a review channel? And so I was like, well, yes. And so it was nice to gab to them for a moment, and they told me about hot cash coming up, and I actually earned some hot cash, so I think I'm gonna do um, like a bra and undies haul with the hot cash that I got. I got the red mini skirt. Excuse you. The car is singing the song of its people. There we go. <laughs> I ended up getting the red mini skirt. I'm so stoked for that. If y'all know anything about me, I love denim skirts and I have never owned a red denim mini skirt and I am so stoked for that. Imagine it with like some really cute band tees and like some black booties or like white converse and like a baseball tee, you know, things like that. It's gonna be adorable. Then I got the black kind of shirt dress that was buttoned through and had pockets. Something like that is just easy peasy for the summer. Even though it's black and it's longer, it's really um, flowy, very lightweight. Accessorize it, all that kind of stuff. Same thing, I can wear that with sneakers, I can wear it with sandals, with booties, and it'll be really cute. That could even dress up with heels if I wanted to. I ended up getting that in a smaller size. I tried on a three, but I wasn't crazy about all the room I had in my rib cage. Um, and I would have just preferred just a little bit snugger silhouette, so I went ahead and got a two instead of a three but overall remembering everything I tried on I had an awesome experience I loved the jeans I tried on I liked every dress that I tried on if I would have had more money to play around with or it had been like during hot cash time and I had the funds I would have bought more than I did tonight as seasons change I may do the same you know retailers over and over because things are constantly changing um, I definitely do have a lot of time this week to film a lot of videos so I know for a fact I'm going to Macy's I'm going to Nordstrom Rack and I'm going to um, what's it called Kohl's and like a TJ Maxx or Marshall's depending on you know what which one I happen upon. So I'm filming a lot of these videos this week. They may be even videos back to back to each other, but y'all love them. If y'all look at the views on my channel, those are the videos that people are loving watching. I, I'm singing a much different tune tonight than I did that first time. And like I said, I think my feelings were valid, especially about things with pricing, but like tonight it was buy one, get one half off of full price items and I had a birthday reward. Um, so both the items together were like 80 bucks. Not cheap, but that's how much two items would cost on like ASOS. So, you know, it was, I'm okay with that and I made that decision for myself and I, I purchased the things. Um, obviously everything that I can find on the website I will list and if I can't find this specific item I try to find something similar. Especially when it comes to some things that are on clearance it can be a little harder to find it on the website. Hopefully it still exists on the website um, but I will definitely try to find it because the green like olive green dress that I tried on I loved. So um, if I can find that on the website I will absolutely link it. There will be tons of information as always as there always is below there are timestamps to when I'm doing everything there are links to everything I'm wearing into the store everything I try on things I want to share with y'all different all, all kinds of stuff my social everything is linked down below as always I cannot thank y'all enough for being so kind and supportive and you know I may talk about this at the end of every single video but I don't ever want to stop saying thank you because my channel has grown so much so fast and there are so many of you that I am just like seeing you know comment over and over on all my different videos you're getting involved I'm getting to know your face I'm getting to know your name and you are being really receptive of me and I, I really appreciate that I have a haul from a fun company that I've never 
um tried on before so i got a ton of things from them like 10 or 12 things i'll be filming that this week as well and um actually and then i have an asos haul coming what else is there three basically three hauls like five in the fitting rooms and then i have a couple styling videos i am gonna film so i have no distractions this week so i'm super excited to get to work i just love y'all you're amazing you treat me with so much kindness and you don't judge me for my crappy <laughs> nail polish or lack thereof i'm gonna go home tonight paint my nails and edit this video and y'all will probably be seeing it tomorrow i adore y'all thank you so much and i We'll see you next time. I had such a good experience. Ooh.